Hello, and welcome to the Bankers View from Cybos video series, looking at all the hot topics here in Toronto this year. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Gavin McLean, who is uh, Head of Cash Management and Payment Product uh, for Global Transaction Banking at Lloyds Banking Group. Gavin, thanks so much for joining us today. Hi Joy, great to be here. So there's a big move in Europe around uh, open banking, which is really driven forward by the Payment Services Directive 2. How is that really going to impact the bank and your clients? First of all, the, the regulation uh, is about competition and, and, and opening up banking. So the first thing that any bank needs to consider is how they're going to comply with that regulation, how they're going to enable their systems and their platforms and their client propositions to operate in a more open manner. Beyond complying with the regulation, there's then an opportunity for any bank or any payment service provider to look at how they can meet a broader range of client needs. So the, the implications of Payment Services Directive 2 and, and the theme of open banking um, is first and foremost compliance and, and secondly opportunity. Okay, but is there a bit of risk when you talk about opening up the data, your client's data, to a third party? What is the risk involved and how are the banks coping with that? Yeah, so the commercial risk is disintermediation, I think, um, losing that touch point with the client relationship. There's an opportunity angle on that as well, Joy. Um, so the opportunity to share data in, in, in partnerships um, and create new propositions that can meet that broader range of client needs. On the very technical aspects of, of data sharing, yes, of course, the, 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 the first order priority for any of the banks, um, and particularly Lloyd's, is going to be keeping that customer data secure and safe and making sure that the partners and the parties that we're working with in that more open ecosystem uh, are also putting client protection first. So th th there are commercial but also um, data risks to, to, to deal with as we go through the implementation. So there's obviously also opportunities. So yeah. what opportunities do you see in that move to open banking? Yeah, so I think, you know, in the, in the broadest sense of sharing data, you know, there's an opportunity to um, help customers who maybe have um, multiple banking relationships. You could well imagine the, the, the potential for someone uh, to aggregate that account information from across a number of different providers and serve it up to customers in a you know, one-stop shop type of solution. Um, and then as we go, you, you know, deeper into some of the opportunities, the ability for, for banks and other service providers to use data and, and use big data to be more predictive about client needs and, and, and offer solutions to their needs, and also just to make better informed decisions using a broader set of data, I think is great for consumers. Um, it, it's great for risk management, it's great for the propositions that I'm sure will, will come once we get into the, to the, the true era of openness. Okay, um, but what will the payments ecosystem look like in the future, do you think? So in the UK, I mean, you know, we've got the Payment Strategy Forum, there's, um, there's the, the new payments architecture. Um, but without going, you know, super geeky and focusing on what it means technologically and for the platforms, I, I, I think from a, a cultural perspective, it, it's going to put more power in the hands of customers. So when you look at things that are being talked about in the UK, like request to pay, you know, all, all of the things that are being looked at are really shifting the power balance towards the client. You know, putting the client in more control um, with better understanding of what's going on you know, with their data, with their payments, um, with their information. So I, I, I think thematically it's all going to be about you know, empowering the consumer. But also building out maybe the ecosystem in terms of fintech. What is Lloyd's doing in that area? As part of our program, we've obviously got the, 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 the compliance to deal with first and foremost, which is what we're working on. We actually go into um, industry testing with some of the fintechs uh, in November on open banking. So we're actively engaging with the fintech community, um, A, so that we can support them as third party providers, as, as the regulation dictates, but also to look at where are the, the, the fintechs and other organisations um, that we want to partner with beyond merely the compliance angle. So we, we've got a lot of work going on in that, in that partnership area. Excellent. So a big theme at Cybos this year is really around cyber security, um, fighting against fraud, uh, money laundering. What more can banks do to help protect themselves and their clients? As the sessions at Cybos have shown, you know, put, put, putting the clients first is, you know, really the key thing that we've all got to do. Um, all of the regulation, whether it's, you know, 
global data protection regulation, whether it's PSD2, whether it's open banking in the UK, is really about opening up, um, opening up the ecosystem and you know, opening up choices for customers. We clearly need to do that in a safe manner. As to what, what more can banks do, you know, we, we've got to make sure that as we work through the, the, the changes in the landscape, um, that we're putting that customer protection first. So, you know, our first order priority will always be making sure that the customer's data is secure, that the people that we're interchanging it with um, are appropriately you know, capable of dealing with that data in a secure manner as well. So I, I actually think it's, it, it's about the partnerships and the relationships and making sure that, you know, we've got the customer's interests at heart in all of the developments that we look to undertake. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Gavin. Thanks, Joy. Pleasure.